Taoiseach, um, I'm a member of the first ever generation who will be worse off than our parents. This didn't happen by accident. Political choices made by successive governments have resulted in the aspirations and dreams of an entire generation being either diminished or destroyed. Nowhere is the political betrayal of young people more evident than in the housing disaster. Skyrocketing rents and exorbitant house prices have resulted in the collapse of home ownership rates. We are now at the bottom third of EU countries when it comes to home ownership. You told a recent meeting of your parliamentary party you were alarmed to see that figure. But Tisha, were you surprised? Because all of this happened on Fine Gael's watch. The share of 25 to 34 year olds who own their own home more than halved between 2004 and 2019, plummeting from 60% to just 27%. People can no longer afford to buy a home because they are spending all of their money on rent. Between 2012 and early last year, rents increased by a staggering 95%, while prices in the economy increased by just 11%. And rents are still increasing there appears to be no upper limit. Tishuk, the housing disaster isn't just about bricks and mortar. It's about young people whose adult lives are on hold because they can't afford to move out of their childhood bedrooms. It's about couples postponing having a family because they can't find affordable housing. It's about the stress and anxiety that causes once happy relationships to break down. It's about a lack of hope it's about despair. It's about fear for the future. That your life will be permanently on hold. That you could be served an eviction notice at any moment. That you will never be able to afford to do what your own parents did on just one income, own a modest home. We know the housing disaster is a social catastrophe and it is now threatening our economy too. Today, Chambers Ireland have warned the housing disaster is the biggest threat facing small and medium businesses. They say that multinationals are considering buying up entire housing estates. Taoiseach, an economy cannot function where workers cannot afford to buy or rent a home, and neither can a society. Fine Gael has been in government for almost my entire adult life. Your party first promised to address what was a housing crisis in 2014. Nine years later, it's an unprecedented housing disaster. Promises have been broken, targets have not been met, and lives are being ruined as a result. So Taoiseach, can you please tell me, when will people on average incomes be able to afford to buy or rent a home, and how much longer do we have to wait for the government's plan to work? Sure.